Let us introduce to you some intimate glimpses of the Rakerphone works at Annandale. Rakerphone are the pioneer Australian sound equipment manufacturers and are also manufacturers of radio sets and accessories. On entering the machine shop, one is impressed with the variety of work carried on. Material is purchased in bulk and with the aid of modern machinery is turned out in the form of chassis, washers, valve socket contacts, volume controls and a host of other parts. All the necessary dies and tools for these jobs are produced in the machine shop and are made and fitted with the most accurate care and skill. The tools for these chassis having been completed and set in the press, it is a simple matter for the operator to take the sheets of steel, place them under the press and thus produce a completed chassis ready to take the components for the particular amplifier for which it has been designed. This is the foundation of the amplifier and every attention has been given to laying it out in such a way that all its components will function without electrical interference from each other. The steel from which it is made has been thoroughly tested in the Rakerphone laboratory and is imported from England specially for the company. On the turret lathe, six operations are performed consecutively. In the making of terminals, bars of metal are fed to the lathe on runners. By a movement of the side lever, the operator brings through the required length of metal. A turn of the capstan head checks the length. Another turn drills the hole through its center. The next turn countersinks the hole. A pull of the center lever bevels the end. And finally, a forward movement severs the terminal from the bar. Rigid inspection by the foreman ensures absolute accuracy of all jobs. Steel and fiber gears are another of the essentials and these require an accuracy which to the layman seems impossible. One ten thousandth of an inch would be too great an error for this universal milling machine. No job is too small and none too large for this modern factory. Note how this cast iron bed plate is being played with. No effort, no trouble. The junior equipment consists of an aluminium base upon which rests the motor, the sound head and the lamp house. The bases are cast in alloy and neatly finished on a universal milling machine which lends itself to accurate working standards. The bosses on the top of the base are milled to a perfect finish to make an even bed for the sound head. Any unevenness here will throw out the alignment of the head which in turn will cause noisy gears. The gears, shafts, bushes and other small parts having been made, the assembly of the sound head is next commenced. The sound head which has been cast and machined with the same accuracy as all the components has two functions. Firstly to pull down the film from the projector and secondly by means of the optical unit to pick up the sound from the sound track. The mechanic must be exceptionally careful in the adjustment of the optical system for the focusing of the beam of light on the sound track is equivalent to the sharp point of a gramophone needle. Rakerphone prepared for extended frequency range as far back as 18 months ago by the incorporation of the new optical system and curved sound gate in Rakerphone sound equipments. The amplifier seen here is the part of the junior type sound equipment which has proved popular with so many showmen. To develop the necessary amplifiers and to definitely prove that they would cover wide ranges of frequency in the audible spectrum, a very necessary piece of apparatus called a standard beat frequency oscillator was imported. This oscillator produces frequencies from 16 to 12,000 cycles per second and the calibration is so accurate that it does not vary one point in several millions. Under the old type of sound equipment, the frequency range of the amplifier and the speakers was limited to those frequencies between 70 cycles per second and 4,500 cycles per second. 
With the introduction of extended frequency range, this limit has been extended to cover all frequencies between 10,000 cycles per second and 30 cycles per second. Leaving the production of theatre sound equipment, let us now pay a visit to the laboratory where Rakerphone radio sets are developed. Here we see the engineers developing a five-valve chassis, making tests on its sensitivity, selectivity and fidelity. All these measurements are made so that the performance of a receiver is definitely known long before it actually receives a radio signal. This enables the engineers to know if the particular type of receiver is suited for the purpose for which it is being built. Nothing is left to chance by the technical staff in their efforts to keep abreast of radio developments. The results of these figures are plotted in the form of graphs. The particular graph you see is the result of tests made for selectivity. The assembly of component parts for radio requires clo close supervision. Every part is tested before going into the production line. One of the most important of these components is the coil. This consists of an insulating former upon which is wound several hundred tons of specially coated wire, much thinner than the ordinary household silk thread. The winding is checked with the aid of a magnifying glass to see that it is even, as there must be no variation in the spaces between the turns. After winding and finishing off, they are transferred to the impregnating plant, where they are dipped in a special waterproof solution. While this may not be necessary for some localities, it is essential that Rakerphone radio stands up to every climate particularly the humid atmosphere of the islands to the north of Australia, where the products of this firm are very well patronized. Testing and matching is carried out after impregnating by means of a special oscillator built by Rakerphone for that purpose. So fine is the adjustment of this oscillator that the placing of a small piece of metal within six inches of the coil while it is under test will immediately be registered. To ensure no such interference when the coil is on the chassis, special coil cans have been produced to house the coil. Cadmium plating is used throughout for these components requiring a hard finish. That method having proven to be the only satisfactory surface for the carrying out of radio frequency currents. The factory also has a modern Duco plant, which is used for the external finishing of its products. A glance at the radio assembly line reveals the methodical way in which the set is built up. Each employee does his own small section of the work. This means he becomes extremely skillful in this section. We see how the chassis was produced from the presses in the machine shop, also how it was plated. The next step is the addition of the valve sockets. The aerial and the earth terminals, electrolytic condensers, power transformers, in intermediate frequency transformers, gang condenser and dial. Wiring operations beneath the chassis are then begun. All resistors and condensers are mounted on a Bakelite strip which is placed in the base of the chassis. This strip is a distinct feature of Rakerphone radio. So much care is exercised in testing every part before it reaches the assembly line that every chassis coming off the line is ready for final test in the screen test room. Here, the operator puts the set through a final test, lines the condensers, seals them, and thoroughly tests the chassis for reception on the broadcasting stations. These test rooms are modernly equipped with all available apparatus. After passing this test, it is now ready for cabinet fitting. Here, it is bolted in the cabinet. The speaker is mounted on its baffle, 
the escutcheons placed on the cabinet and the completed set is again tested before being finally dispatched to fulfill waiting orders. Amongst the outstanding sets produced during the last few months is the Rakeathon Peewee. At the time of production, this little fellow was really the smallest set on the Australian market. The Rakeathon Peewee. We hope that this tour of inspection of the Rakeathon works has convinced you of the excellence of Rakeathon products.